here is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. So, you're wondering what is happening in pot 2. You've put in water, you've put in fertilizer and nutrients, but why is this plant not growing? Do you know what the reason could be? Let me explain it to you. It depends upon the soil in the pot. Did you know the growth of plants depends upon four things? Okay, don't worry, let me tell you. They are the amount of sunlight availability of water, availability of air, and the amount of nutrients. So now you know four important requirements for plants to grow. But do you know soil is also responsible for points two, three, and four? Okay, so let's learn why soil plays a very important role for plant growth. Or how why the plant in pot 1 is growing and the plant in pot 2 is not growing is linked to the soil in the pots. So, there are two different types of soils in these two pots. The soil in pot 1 is good for plant growth and the soil in pot 2 is not good for plant growth. The soil in pot 1 helps plants to get water, nutrients and air. But in pot 2, the soil is not good for these three things. But let me first explain the different types of soils. Do you know different types of soils? Okay, there are three types of soils. Clay, sandy, and loam. You see these three jars? All of these jars have different types of soils. Let us learn about these three types. The first one is clay. The soil particles are very small and very close to each other. There is some space in between particles and it can hold a lot of water, but very little air. Let's put some water in each jar. Now, take soil from jar number one into your hand. Grab it in your hand tightly. Now, open your hand. See how the clay soil holds itself tightly and doesn't break? So, it is tightly packed and holds the water. Now, see jar 2. It is sandy soil. Its particles are bigger in size and further away from each other. There is a lot of space among particles. Water passes through these pores and does not stay in this soil for very long. Now, take some soil in your hand from this jar. Try to form a ball. Now, open your hand. See? It crumbles. It does not hold any water. So for plants, it is not good. In deserts, very few plants are able to grow due to this reason. Now this soil in jar number three is loam soil. It is a mixture of sand and clay soil. It is best for plants as it holds water, air, and nutrients very well. Now try to make a ball from this soil. It crumbles but it still holds together. So now you understand three types of soils. But do you know soil structure? Okay, okay. Did you know all plants grow on the top part of the earth? This is called soil. Soil has different layers. Look at this picture. Soil has five major layers. The top layer is made up of dead leaves and branches. The second layer is made up of some humus and small particles of minerals. Humus is made up of partially and totally decayed animals and plant parts. Humus contains a lot of nutrients, which are important for plants. The third layer is subsoil. It consists of some humus and some minerals. The second to last layer is Horizon Sea. It is purely minerals. Finally, the last layer is bedrock. It is completely made up of rocks. You can compare the soil profile with a burger. Look at this burger. Remove the upper side of the burger. Good. See, now this burger shows soil structure. 
the upper side is leaves, and then there is topsoil, subsoil, horizon, and there is solid bedrock. So today, you have learnt about soil types and soil profile. Do you need a reward? Okay, you can eat this burger. Enjoy! And whenever you eat a burger, remember the soil profile. So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. <clears throat> it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children.